Hi, this is your reading for Saturday the 30th of January. Thanks for joining me. I am going to use the Tho deck today, or as someone recently I spoke to called it the Toth deck, so I don't know if I've been saying it wrong this whole time. But I'm going to use my three cards here to give you an insight into what the day has to offer you. This is interesting. Okay, so, wow. The first card is the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is a blessing from the universe, and it's saying that your cup is running over with divine inspiration, with love, with positive emotions, and you start the day on a real, real high. The next card is the Magus in reverse, and that's the Magician. Okay, The Magician is about taking action, and he appeared in yesterday's reading where it was the right time for you to really create something, to do something. It's in reverse, and basically it's saying, take the foot off the gas pedal in terms of creating so much action and making things happen, and spend some time going within and listening to the spiritual messages, listening to what comes up. You're going to be massively inspired, and you'll get messages coming in for the next lot of action that you're meant to take in future but not on this day. The final card is the moon in reverse. The moon, this way around, is about moving forward despite your fears, taking action despite fears. It's in reverse, and it's saying, don't take too much action today. Don't start new ventures, a new business, anything like that. Listen to the guidance that you're getting, reflect, and really hear what the moon is telling you. The moon is very intuitive. The moon is you know, the mother of the night. It's very much about receiving new information. So be still, be quiet, get quiet, and really listen to what is coming in because your your guidance and your kind of information system is a gold mine of ideas today. So it's interesting, but the last couple of days have really been about listening and then taking action. Taking action and listening. And this day is a break in that kind of wave of activity. And it's all about being still, getting quiet, and listening to what's coming up. Let's see what the numbers say. We've got 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Two is about relationship. It's about cooperation. And it's about getting to a place of enthusiasm as a result of that cooperation. So this is about building and strengthening your relationship with spirit to create further insights, new motivations, new idea for the days, the future to come. Really, the muses are singing into your ear. They're kind of inspiring you at the moment. And all you need to do is kind of create a bit of stillness in your life so that you can get those messages in. Really interesting, powerful stuff coming through that will really, I think, is kind of preparing you for February and the actions that you're going to take. Because, you know, sometimes inspiration comes in loud and clear, and then other times there's just nothing, and you have to just kind of act and, and make do with what you've got. So over this day and the last two days as well, really make sure to take note of all of the good stuff that's coming in. And build that relationship with spirit, with your higher self, for the best possible outcome. I hope you have a wonderful Saturday. If you'd like a private reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. And remember to subscribe to the channel.